The onset of wintry weather is impacting the safety and well-being of dozens of people living in a St. Paul homeless encampment. That's why city officials have announced that site must be cleared by 10 o'clock Thursday morning. The announcement has many people who call that space home wondering where they'll go. Reg Chapman stopped by the camp today to see how people are coping. It is a family. It's all this is one big family. Everybody look out for each other. Randall Green says the people that call the cathedral encampment home are bonded together by circumstance and stick together like family. This pop-up community of people has gone from 65 tents this summer to about 27 tents today. Big concern for us is safety, public safety. MnDOT's Kevin Gutnick says working with city and county officials, they decided the health and safety of people in the encampment is priority. He says cold temperatures are forcing them to act now to clear the camp. <laughs> Fires are a big concern. Our cameras were there two weeks ago when one tent went up in flames. And we're seeing that the people who are living there are gathering more materials to provide heat, i.e., firewood. So that means the risk of fire is even greater. We got a, a butane, a little butane heater. Some of the tents do have heaters inside. That plus fire pits spread throughout the camp are a big reason MnDOT says no more. Because we like it here. But now the police tell them we got to go. The city did tell them um, it was about two weeks ago now that the last cleanup happened in the evacuation. They were told this last time that they would be able to stay. Yesterday, the vacate notices came out again, and they are being told that they're going to have to clear out again tomorrow at 10 a.m. Homeless advocate Stephanie Stewart says despite what officials say, housing for the homeless is limited. She believes tearing apart the camp will keep people from getting the life saving resources they need. They're going to move around. They'll be sleeping on the light rail. They are going to miss work. They're going to miss connections with their social services and their caseworkers. They have no idea what to do anymore. Stewart and others are at the site, hoping to help as many as they can before time runs out. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. MnDOT says a contractor has been hired to clear that site by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. City officials say they will continue working to get people help.